In the past, many have pointed out flaws in Tesla's automatic wipers. So in this video, I'll explain how they differ from other cars, show them in action, and determine if Tesla still deserves the criticism. Teslas are different to other vehicles in that they no longer use a rain sensor to detect water on the glass. Earlier models used to have a rain sensor, but Tesla stopped fitting them to new cars in 2018 and instead used the front-facing cameras and clever software to detect rain. As a result, the Tesla Model Y has never had a rain sensor, relying entirely on its vision system. So, how does the rain sensor work in all other vehicles? Well, they have an infrared sensor at the top of the windscreen, behind the rear view mirror. And in this case, it's just there, above the camera. And infrared light is emitted onto the glass at an angle, and any water on the screen will reflect that light, and that's how it can measure rain. So let's test that. And if I just squirt water up there on the sensor, the wipers obviously come on. But if I squirt water down there, it's not going to detect it, of course. But those extra wipes of the windscreen wipers there were caused by the water already on the glass at the top there. So for some years, the auto wipers on Teslas haven't been great, but mostly that's fixed now. They do work very well because they've improved it with over the updates. But they did make it very difficult for themselves using the cameras up here to detect water on the glass. So let's show you why. So I'll demonstrate this by spraying a bit of water there on the glass. And then we can imagine my camera here is replicating the camera at the top of the screen. But of course the cameras up there, they're not focused on what's on the glass. They're not focused on what's a few millimetres in front of them. They're focused looking all the way down the road so they can see the other traffic. And I can sort of simulate that with the camera because from here I can see the water droplets up there on the screen. But if I put the camera very close to the glass, of course that's going to not be in focus and it becomes almost invisible. And with over-the-air updates, Tesla have slowly been improving this recent system and these cameras are now pretty good at detecting when there's water on the glass. And Tesla's auto wipers now work pretty much the same as cars with traditional rain sensors. So let's see if I can show you the auto wipers in action because the forecast this afternoon is for rain in just a couple of hours. But to be honest, at the moment, that's looking pretty unlikely. And we can check that in the Tesla because we can click up there and see the forecast and there is a 78% chance of rain. And we can then click the precipitation map here and we can see what the rainfall is going to be like over the next three hours or so. And as we can see, there is going to be some very heavy rain there, right where we are. So it's now lightly drizzling, very fine light rain and I've got the wipers on auto and they're doing a fantastic job. So I'll just explain the wiper controls because I think Tesla have nailed that as well. So a single push on the button on the end of the stalk swipes the wipers once and then brings up the wiper control mod menu. Let me do that again. And then you can use the scroll wheel on the steering wheel to adjust the speed of the wipers. So you can go from off to auto to speed one to speed two to speed three to speed four so let me just put that back to off and at any point you can push and hold and that does the wash and that puts the water on the wiper blade as well rather than spraying it up onto the screen so that works much better at speed and it only puts the water on the wiper blade on the upward stroke so you never have water on the screen that isn't getting immediately wiped off so it's a much safer system. So while I'm driving, if I want to put the wipers on, I would just give it a single push and that will wipe the glass. But then I would just usually scroll the wheel up to auto and then it's on auto. And I can do that without looking at the screen. So that is easy, it's safe. And actually in reality, it's a lot easier than cars that have twisty type stalks to adjust the wipers. So now it is just lightly spitting. I've got the wipers on auto and it's getting it just spot on. 
and Tesla have obviously cracked this with one of the recent updates because this vision system now is absolutely spot on at detecting the right amount of water on the glass and when and how fast to swipe the wipers. So there is something else to bear in mind with the Tesla wipers. If I just turn them off completely. So when you put your car into autopilot and you allow the car to do the driving, which I will now do. So we're now using enhanced autopilot. It basically turns the wipers on by itself and it will control them by itself because the car is now driving and when the car wants to see out of the camera better it's going to swipe the wipers even if the glass is completely dry so that's something to bear in mind and what you might find is it might be a perfectly dry day you put the car into autopilot and for seemingly no reason the wipers will swipe and that's just because it's checking that the glass is clean and it just wants to make sure that the cameras can see as well as they possibly can do so the rain is coming down harder now and again the auto wipers are working just fine and there they've gone on to full speed higher speed should I say just a one swipe but back to normal speed So I would imagine they were improved in one of the recent software updates, but as they are now, they are certainly no worse than any other car I've had with a rain sensor. Tesla took a bold step by ditching the traditional rain sensor in favour of their existing camera-based vision system, creating a complex challenge for themselves. Over the past six to seven years, they've been fine-tuning this technology through over-the-air updates and by summer 2025 their vision-based rain detection system seems to have finally matched the reliability of conventional rain sensors. Interestingly, Tesla followed a similar path with their ultrasonic sensors, removing them from new vehicles before fully perfecting the vision-based alternative, yet they eventually developed a system that surpassed the original. This pattern suggests that Tesla's approach to rain detection may pay off too, potentially making something as simple as wipers perform far better than those in other vehicles. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Have you tested your Tesla's auto wipers recently? With the UK's dry summer behind us, you may have not had a chance. But as we head into autumn, I bet many Tesla owners will notice their wipers performing better than ever. I hope you found this video interesting or useful. If you have, please do click the thumbs up. And if you want to learn more about the Tesla Model Y, there's a link in the video description below to a playlist where you can see other videos I've made. Okie doke, I'll see you on the next one.